Sarko Grab Guide. I'll go over the mechanics of grab, what I found out, and which builds you could use with it, along with a few issues I found. So let's start. The ability is called Clamp. But we're gonna go with grab because it just sounds cooler and that's what everyone else is going with. The animation takes roughly 1.5 seconds, on which you grab your target when Sarko's mouth clamps down at the end. It also practically has no cooldown so at the moment, it is freely spammable though I imagine this might change in the future. Now what can Sarko grab? Sarko could only grab things up to a certain weight. Assuming fully grown adults and without using any of the no-no hides, more on those later, Sarko could grab Alio, Tal, Meg, Latin, Urino, Deinonychus, Conca, Serato, Sruti, Paki, Kentro, Camto, and finally, Anodonto. If you were to try and grab anything that is too heavy, your Sarko would just and look like a total idiot. Now here's the problem with this list. These exist. When I saw them, I was thoroughly confused. Why? Basically, slick feathers and slick scales are a direct counter to getting grabbed and pounced. Why? Why spend countless hours making grab and pounce a mechanic and then proceed to just invalidate them altogether like they never existed by slapping these on a couple dinos? I do not know why. Playables that have access to these atrocities are Alio, Rex, Suko, Spino, yes, the two raptors, Despleto, Iguanodon, and Dino Kyrus. Why? Out of all these, Sarko could only grab Alio, Deinonychus, and Latin. The rest you could technically grab at certain stages of growth, but if they had access to these hides throughout anyway, then good luck with that. There is no indication that they have these hides on, so it's up to your guesswork, which, in my opinion, is a very poor design. This is especially sad for pouncers like Deinonychus and Latin that have 8 less food options. Why they would give Rex or Iguanodon pounce and grab immunity but not Eo, I have no clue. What I think they should have done is to just make it a severe stamina penalty to the aggressor instead. That way, the mechanic still works, it's still there but it's just more risky to try it. I have a clip here of me trying to ambush a pack of Latins. Before I knew these hides existed, I thought it was a pretty good ambush. I waited for a few minutes to lull them into a sense of security before lunging out to grab, only to find out that basically each and every one of them had grab immunity. Except for one which I eventually managed to snag and take to Disneyland. Again, why? Anyway, that's just been me ranting for a few minutes straight. So now that you know what your potential pranks are, you should also know how long you can hold on to them for. Grabbing someone, you have roughly 50 seconds or about the same time it takes to shower before your stamina depletes altogether and then you would drop your prey. Of course, this would be a lot shorter if your prey were struggling. Struggling is a mechanic that allows someone to deplete your stamina faster while you're clamped down on them. To struggle out of a grab, they would only need to keep on clicking the jump button. If they were to keep on struggling, it would only take roughly 20 seconds before your entire stamina depletes. Do know that currently there is no difference between grabbing say a Deinonychus versus a fully grown Anodonto. Grabbing either takes about the same amount of stamina to hold on to, or it might just be that Deinonychus here is deceptively chunky. Anyway, you can use the ability alongside lunge to perform a lunge and grab combo. Using lunge does not put any of your bites on cooldown, so you can pull off some neat ambushes. On the other hand, using gator dash instead will put your bites on cooldown. So no, you can't just drive by someone from land and proceed to grab and take them with you. Well, you can, but you have to stop and grab. And you know, I'll try it anyway. You can also grab someone and then just proceed to yeet them off a cliff. Depending on their weight, they will take full damage and will hate you and the entire Sarko kind for it. 
You can also use Grab to transport people, like the Sarko taxi that you've always dreamt of becoming. Be free, fish! A few other things I noted about Grab. Apparently, you cannot grab Metri even though it looks small enough. This means they must have buffed Metri's combat weight recently. Grabbing someone does not interrupt their attack. They could also struggle and wind up an attack at the same time, so be careful. Grabbing an Anodonto in Hunger Down puts it out of hunger. Rip Coffee Tables, which bite is best to go along with grab. Well, you have three options. First, you could run Asphyxiating Bite. Asphyxiating Bite is a new one, but basically they just switched up Ripping Bite by removing bleed and adding stamina and oxygen damage instead. This thing is pretty nasty, since it is like giving Sarko Venom by allowing it to deplete its spray stamina pretty quickly. When you grab someone, assuming they don't have any water capabilities, they will automatically move to the surface, if they have stamina left. And that's where Asphyxiating Bite comes in. Using this depletes your prey's stamina and oxygen. Once they're fully under and out of air, they will proceed to implode in the next few seconds. But the main problem with running this combo is that you're basically defenseless against other semi-aquatics. You can't use it to try and drown a semi-aquatic, well, because they're semi-aquatic, and its damage is pretty low. In my testing, it takes about 23 bites and a smidge to take out another Sarko. This translates to, drum roll please, roughly just 20 raw damage, paired with what looks like about 15 stamina and oxygen damage per bite. So the only thing it is good for against another semi-aquatic is to deplete their stamina, allowing you to swim off to try and escape. Next up is Crushing Bite. Long windup, massive raw damage at about 210. The good thing about grab is that it does not trigger the combat timer, which means you could use it with Ambush Sense, which multiplies your first attack damage out of combat by 150%. That's a lot of damage! You could grab an unfortunate soul, take them to the depths, and just send them back to the character screen with one boosted crushing bite. The only downside is that this bite now has a 5 second cooldown, which is a pretty long downtime if it is your only source of damage, leaving you open to attacks. Lastly, regular bite plus clamp. I think this is the most versatile one so far. It has a decent 50 raw damage output with only 1 second cooldown. So it only takes about 9 regular bites and a smidge to take down another Sarko with it. The only real downside to this one is that your prey options are mostly limited compared to running crushing bite. The Verdict I think Sarko's grab is okay, but the execution could be better. Some of the things you could and could not grab don't make a lot of sense. For example, you could grab a fully grown Anodonto or a spiky Kentro with no issues, but not a Medtri or a Styraco. I also think that they should rework these hides to something like a stamina penalty instead of straight up immunity to make it more viable. And lastly, I think grab should have a longer cooldown. Any sort of ability that allows you to displace another player is innately strong. At its current state, it is too spammable with basically no real penalty. If you missed, you could just keep on spamming until you eventually grab something. I would prefer if grab rewarded high-skilled gameplay and punished for missing, much like what Crushing Bite is right now. But anyway, those are just a few of my thoughts. Hope you got something out of this guide, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Come on, do it. Oh well, I'll take it. <laughs> Whee!